the path to peace begins with understanding that nothing is ever out of place. In this tattle, we'll explore the interplay of energies that shape our journey. In acceptance, you will find the key to unlocking your true potential. Thank you for joining me. My name is Varni and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you for all the positive energy you're sending my way. Thank you for helping my channel grow. Taurus, I'm getting ready to dive right in. There you have it. And your first card out. The Page of Pentacles. Good news. This might be good news regarding your finances, Taurus. Hoping for some good news. Hoping for something that's exactly right with the Two of Cups. Hoping for having that new beginning, whatever this new spares, is going to be something that you are hoping for. Wow, Taurus, with the High Priestess, following your intuition, allowing it to guide you. This is accessing hidden knowledge, Taurus. And the reason it begs to your mind space is because you are trying to make peace with not having all of the information. Now this is sitting in your fears, not having all the information. Despite perhaps trying to look at it from every perspective. Now what you should know, Taurus, with judgment, is that this good news that's on its way, the one that you are able to perceive in your mind space allows for a transformation, Taurus. This is a transformation that is going to affect both your heart space and your mind space, Taurus. In your hidden position is the King of Cups. Now this is someone who loves you very much, Taurus, or this is someone who has the energy of being able to balance his emotion enough to allow each energy in his sphere to be exactly who they are without judgment, without recrimination. It is this king that's possibly going through some kind of transformation, Taurus. Wow, that little beginning, that good news sets you off on some kind of journey, Taurus, with the chariot. This is moving forward with willpower and determination. This is victory. This is not allowing anything to stand in your way, Taurus. Wow, and what you are doing is finding out more. With the Page of Swords, you have some kind of clarity of thought, maybe understanding the direction that you now must move in, willing to do it quickly. The energy that's balancing you with the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, this could be secrets. This could be holding on to something in the psychic realm. Now the energy that's balancing you may talk about secrets and the energy that's in your physical world seconds that. With the moon we are talking about illusions. We are talking about things that are hidden, allowing you to have those fears, asking you to look at things from a different perspective in order to understand what is truly going on. 
Now, Taurus, with the moon, we could be talking about your psychic ability, trying to make peace with what is going on, if there is something going on. Now, the illusion is around your pentacle world, Taurus. Maybe trying to understand what the king of pentacles represents in your world. This is the confidence and eloquence gleaned from a firm belief of oneself. This is a king who presents mastery over material wealth. Someone who's a pillar of strength, Taurus. Now what you should know with the Four of Swords is once that healing is done, the one that you have been doing, Taurus, the one of a broken heart, understanding the truth, being able to move forward quickly once that healing is done. Wow, Taurus, with the sun in your hidden position, we are talking about success. We are talking about a king who feels happiness from within perhaps with the sun it's having the sun shine down on you on what it is you are trying to accomplish now Taurus what has brought you here to this fast movement is hard work this is you trying to work on your physical world your pentacle world this talks about dedication Taurus commitment this talks about sacrifice something you have done late at night perhaps this is research that you are doing currently in your current environment with the hermit it talks about introspection Seeking the wisdom from within, navigating life by understanding one's inner light, Taurus. Now the energy, wow, <laughs> this is exactly as it was. The energy taking you forward, Taurus, is a complete change. Everything is about to change. This might be while you are unaware. This might be something that's changing related to your hermit time. Something that may be secret, Taurus. Now where you are headed is to some kind of choice that you are going to have to make, Taurus. It talks about an emotional choice. It talks about not having all of the information when you are asked to make this choice. But know, Taurus, that with fate and destiny, you cannot make the wrong choice. Wow. The choice that you make allows you to create whatever you wish to create. This is... The power to manifest and create one's reality. This is utilizing all of your resources. Maybe your firm understanding and belief in yourself, Taurus, allows you to create whatever it is that you perceive in your mind space. Now what you should know, Taurus, with the Five of Swords... That understanding, that truth, is something you still carry, Taurus. You haven't yet done the complete healing because you still carry the Three of Swords. This is you having the understanding and trying to make peace with it. Whatever it is you were working on in the past, Taurus, you may have felt conflicted about it. Now what you should know, wow, here's your progression. 
with the Four of Swords, to the Five, to the Six, being able to find that calmer space in your mind, Taurus. Now we could be talking about movement over water. This is the rite of passage. Wow, Taurus, a successful journey awaits. With the Three of Pentacles, this is you still hard at work. This is you working with others, Taurus, putting in the late nights and with your hermit energy, your time of introspection, here is you finally being able to make peace, finally being able to set off on that journey. Wow, Taurus, underneath the tower is the emperor. Now this is an embodiment of all of the kings, Taurus. This is someone who is able to access the power of his intellect in order to shape the world and how we see it. This is someone who has the last to say, someone who possibly understands exactly what they need to do once everything changes to us. Now, in the physical world, whatever it is you're going to be working on, Taurus, it is going to have all of your focus. You are going to look at it from every perspective. All your attention is going to be on what it is you are trying to achieve. And what it is, is a brand new beginning in terms of your creation. Now, what you should know, Taurus, Whatever it is you're working on is what leads to your Ten of Pentacles, Taurus. You might have seen it already. Something that has appeared in your physical world. Something that allows you to create your legacy. Now in your hidden position, wow, the Empress. The embodiment of all of the queens. Now Taurus, embodying all of the queens, having the energy attached to your Ten of Pentacles, this tells me happy home, happy family, being able to create that karma space in order to be able to allow your creativity the space in which to grow, Taurus. Now, I can't help but notice that the Empress and the Emperor have their backs to each other. With the Four of Cups, this might be a new love, Taurus. This is some kind of disappointment that stands between the two of them. With the Four of Cups, we are talking about some kind of discontent maybe feeling discouraged or unmotivated. Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed this tattle. Until your next one, bye for now.